Are you thinking about making a move to Folsom but know nothing about it? Well, you've come to the right place. We're going to give you an overview of Folsom and kind of show you what you can get for your money in Folsom. So let's get into it. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Gage with the Gage Group. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. This is Living in Sacramento. I am a local realtor, born and raised here, and I know a lot about Sacramento. Uh, my team and I help people all the time relocate. So if that's you, don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to help you. You want to get a solid game plan before you come out here so you're not spinning your wheels and you're really efficient. Um, so if you find these videos informative, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, so I can get these videos out there and the algorithm does its thing. All right, today I'm going to give you another map tour. We're going to look at Folsom from a bird's eye view, give you an overall sense, and let's get started. All right, guys, so here's Sacramento, and here is Folsom. You will see, you know, it's a ways away to be exact. It's 22 miles away from downtown Sacramento. I'm going to zoom in here. So as far as a commute, that's about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on traffic. Um, as far as how far it is from the airport, it's 45 minutes with no traffic. Um, and Folsom is in the Sierra Nevada foot foothills. So it's a gem of a city. You know, Folsom is named on Wallet Hub's list as one of the best places to raise a family. People love Folsom um, for many reasons, and we'll kind of talk about that. Um, as far as also different ways to get to Folsom, you have the light rail that goes from downtown that will take you all the way to Folsom if you wanna take public transportation. And if you're a bike rider, we have the lovely American River Parkway, which goes all the way from downtown to Folsom on our beautiful bike trail. Um, but if not, you're on the 50 freeway and you know sometimes there could be some solid traffic but a lot of people are working from home nowadays, so uh, not as much as there used to be. All right, so let's talk about the vibe of Folsom to start. Um, so Folsom started back in the day with the gold rush, and we have an old part of Folsom, the historic part of Folsom, kind of like downtown, um, old Sacramento and downtown. And it is on starts on Sutter Street, and it's not just a tourist thing, but there's a lot of activities in Folsom, restaurants, cafes, and um, has a lot of history to it. They have a ton of things to do, fun place to take the kids. They have a local farmer's market, I think every Saturday. Um, they have a, you'll see all these restaurants, the steakhouse is really great, really charming. And around this old area of Folsom, there is older housing. so. There's kind of the best of both. If you like older, charming houses, you're going to want to look around old Folsom for a home, like Victorians, maybe some craftsmen. Um, you will be able to get a bigger lot too. But a lot of Folsom, the vibe is newer. A lot of it was developed in the 80s, 90s till now. Okay, so let's talk about a lot of the growth that's happening in Folsom. And it's on the south side of the 50. And it starts at Prairie City Road, which is right here, all the way to White Rock to uh, the El Dorado County line. So all of this is what they call the Folsom Plan Area, which is a planned community development that's over 3,000 acres um, set aside for additional housing, schools, parks, office and commercial buildings. So a lot of new homes here still going in development. Um, that's how much Folsom is growing, that they've taken up the south side of the freeway. So it's a great place to put down some roots, a great investment um, for the future when you see that amount of growth in such a short amount of time. Okay, so let's talk about some landmarks in Folsom, things to note. Um, first, you have the Folsom State Prison which is one of the biggest forms of employment out in Folsom, that in Intel. Um, now, not to be put on your bucket list, but just a little trivia fact, back in the day, 
1968, Johnny Cash actually went to Folsom and sang Folsom Prison Blues, a famous song, which has definitely put Folsom on the map. So something to note. Um, also, okay, you have the Folsom Rainbow Bridge, which is kind of like a landmark bridge. Um, just as when you think of Sacramento, you think of our Yellow Tower Bridge. When you see pictures of Folsom, a lot of times they'll show the Rainbow Bridge, which is a concrete arch bridge, really pretty. That's 100 years old, and it's right here, taking you over um, the lake. Folsom has their own zoo. Let's see here, here's the Folsom City Zoo. Um, we also have another zoo in Land Park. And then let's mention the big thing is going to be the lake. Here you have Folsom Lake. Not only does Folsom have beautiful views of downtown Sacramento, but also because you're up on the hills, um, you also get to see the beautiful lake. Some houses around here are gorgeous, really multi-million dollar homes. And then you have Lake Natoma here. So Folsom has endless water sports at all levels. Um, you could go paddle boarding on Lake Natoma, get a day pass, or you could be a boater out in Folsom Lake. Um, there's a ton of uh, trails all around the lake. Folsom has 95 miles approximately of trails around the lake um, with views of the beautiful lake, you can be, you know, a lot of people are cyclists, uh, mountain biking, hiking, horseback riding, all these activities you can be done in Folsom. And Folsom is a place, you know, if you would like to lead an active lifestyle, Folsom would definitely be a spot for you. It offers so many things um, with the lifestyle and the nature of Folsom. With two lakes, I mean, you're talking two lakes, you have Folsom Lake, Lake Natoma, and the American River endless possibilities, all different levels of activity in Folsom. One of the reasons people love Folsom is because, you know, it's a very safe area. It's clean. You see very little homeless in Folsom, if any, unlike um, downtown. So the closer you are to downtown, the more problems with like homeless you're going to have. Okay, so let's talk about you know, where do you go shopping if you live out in Folsom? People love to know that. So here's the Palladio Shopping Center. I mean, this is upscale, really nice, beautiful place, restaurants, um, cafes, entertainment. You have the movie theater right next to um, lovely grocery stores, Whole Foods. You have everything if I zoom in here. You can see all these shops, Total Wine More, Nordstrom Rack, um, the cinema, Costco. And this is all right off the freeway. Uh, another place that people love to go shopping is in the Folsom outlets. So here's the Folsom premium outlets right here. Um, great place, they have Nike outlet. I always love to go buy tennis shoes there. Uh, here's Folsom High School, really great schools. You can check, get more information on greatschools.org. Then also you have Intel, which is right off the freeway here. And as I mentioned, it's one of the top employers out in Folsom. Or a lot of people, you know, who live in Folsom will commute to Sacramento for work. It's not far. When I help people out in Folsom, I'd say buyers who are looking at Folsom are always are also looking at Granite Bay, which is on the other side of Folsom Lake. See, here's Granite Bay, Folsom Lake, Folsom's right over here. So if you're considering Folsom, um, I'd also check out Granite Bay. Also, people who look at Folsom many times are interested in El Dorado Hills too, which is just um, to the east. So here's El Dorado Hills. So just overall, why people gravitate towards Folsom? Because they can put their kid in a great public school. Uh, it's beautiful. You have views of downtown, the lake. They love to lead an active lifestyle, um, you know, be outdoor with with nature, hiking, biking, close to the bike trails, um, really family friendly, no homeless, low crime rate, um, and it's not too far from downtown. So you can have it all. You can have newer housing if you want more low maintenance, or if you want older charm, you could live in an area near older Folsom. Um, so it kind of caters to many styles. 
Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about is pricing because Folsom is on the pricier side because it has all these lovely things. So, of course, that comes at a cost. So let's get into what you can get for your buck, how much bang for your buck can you get? And um, I want to also show you what, what the homes look like. Okay, so I just ran uh, the comps in Folsom the last four months. So this is just giving an assessment of the last four months, which our market's ever changing. And right now I'm in September of 2022 and our market definitely is changing. It's slowing down because the interest rates keep bumping up. Um, and it's, you know, slowed down quite a bit, but I think once people get used to the, the new interest rate and realize that um, the market's not gonna fall, fall out, that they will, you know, things will speed up again. So here you have a high of, you know, 2,300, a low of 500, which is more going to very rare, and a median of 775. Um, and just to put it in perspective, the median in Sacramento proper is going to be around 550. So you can see Folsom's medium is definitely a lot higher. So let's look what you can get in these varying price points. So first, I want you to see that you can get a home in the 500s. That 500 price is very, there's only one. So that's very un unrealistic. So you're looking more at above 550. And just to give you a sense of what you can get below the median price point, let's look at one for like 580. Okay, so this is a three bedroom, three bath, 1439 square feet, uh, went for 580. So light, bright, a little older in style, but shows really well. Somewhat updated kitchen. So definitely doable in the fives. Just depends how much square footage you need. Okay, so now let's look at a home around the median price point. This one is going to be 765. This is a three bedroom, two bath over 2,000 square feet and almost a quarter of an acre. And this is built in the 90s. They love color in this home. But as I say, light, bright, looks like it has really high ceilings. They've updated the kitchen. Looks like some really nice quartzite. You have that 80s oak cabinets there still. So somewhat updated home shows really well. And this is at the median price point. Bit of a backyard. Okay, now I want to show you what you can get for 950. So let's look. This one is sold for 950. This is a three slash four bedroom, four bathroom, uh, almost 3,000 square feet. Uh, pretty, you know, not that big of a lot. The newer homes are going to have smaller lots because these developers are looking to make money, not give you a huge backyard. So just something to know, you know, if you want a bigger backyard, you might be looking at a home that's built in the 80s. But this, you know, looks really nice. It just depends what your lifestyle is. I always tell buyers, figure out your must-haves in the beginning. Like if you want a pool or if you want a big backyard and stick to those. So you're um, being efficient when you look at homes. So this home shows really well, has current finishes that people are wanting. Nice garage, good size, you know, not a huge backyard, but a good size backyard. But it wasn't like the last one point, you know, a quarter of an acre. All right, now let me show you the top, the top comp in Folsom right now in the past four months. So this is gonna be um, a six bedroom, possibly seven um, bedroom and seven baths. And this is over 5,000 square feet and a good sized lot. So this is almost half an acre. 
So this is what looks to be a custom home. Shows really well. And I really nice finishes, lovely floors, high ceilings. Has the nice new black windows that people love, waterfall. But I can tell you right now, you can get a lot more here than what you can in the Bay Area. So that's why the Bay Area buyers are flocking to Folsom. Beautiful master. Okay, and there's 40 more pictures. We are gonna go all through them, but you get a sense of what you can get um, on the high end. All right, so if you're still watching this, you have to do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment, so the video can get out there. And I hope you found this informative on Folsom. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Like I said, I would love to help you. My team and I help people relocate all the time. But Folsom is a lovely place, has so many amenities, and could be a great neighborhood for you.